In this video, I'll be showing how to disassemble and reassemble a strut and also how to test whether or not the strut's any good. The first thing you want to do with disassembling strut is to compress the spring, as I've already done. You don't want to compress the spring too much, but you want to compress it enough so that you have some play. And you basically just want to decompress it so that when you pull off the nut, the whole thing won't fly apart. So, after you get this compressed, then you have to take off the nut back here. And the way you do that is you get an opening wrench and you get a hex key like this. Hex key fits into the top, top right here. And then take the opening wrench and you loosen it off. This one's already loose, so I could just go ahead and pull this one off. This little washer comes off, and this whole top part. Okay. So here's the uh, basic shock absorber. Now since it's apart, now I'll show how you test whether it's good or not. According to the manual, what you got to do is you put down a wood block, you reassemble the whole thing without the spring, and then you push it down on the block, and you push it down and test it that way. So now I'm going to reassemble it without putting on the spring, and I'm going to show you how to reassemble it. First thing you got to do is get this little stopper right here and you put it, this part down, okay. so, I like that, okay, and this little piece right here, alright, with this piece, you gotta make sure you put this the right way, okay, this is how you put it on, and it should fit snugly, if you have it the wrong way, then it's going to be very loose. So, make sure you put that on the right way, this part down. Okay. Alright. And you put this part on, the dust cover. Right. And this little washer. top part comes on, you put this little piece, and this is also very important, it has these little, these little grooves around the side, I don't know what you call it exactly, but the, the grooves have to be facing upward, okay, so it'd be go like that. Go ahead and put the nut on. You tighten up the nut as much as you can. Don't have to be real tight, but so that it's snug. And then we have to test if it's good or not. Now I'm going to show how you test the strut to see whether or not it's any good. According to the manual, you're supposed to have a wood block that you put down, and then you put the top of the strut on top of the wood block. But I don't have one, so I'm just going to be using this rag right here. So, the way you test it, put the top down, and you completely compress the shock and allow it to decompress. Okay. So now I'll completely compress it and allow it to decompress. Basically what you're looking for in this test is any oil leakage or any abnormal noises. If there's oil leakage, it's no good. Okay. 
it should compress and decompress very smoothly if it does not and for example let's say it's de it has some pressure when you're compressing it and then all of a sudden it, it jumps and then it has compression again and like that then it's no good if it goes smoothly down and up and there's pressure on it it's good so to reassemble the strut first thing you're going to want to do is put on the spring keep in mind it should still be compressed just slide that on and you gotta look at the bottom because before you release the spring you want to make sure that it's in that little groove like that not up here you want to make sure it's down there Okay. so then you put on this little stopper down here and you make sure that this part's facing up this part's facing down And you put on this little piece and make sure this part's facing down and the flat side's facing up. Okay. And you put on the dust cover like so. And you put on this little washer. Don't really matter which way this goes on. Then you put on the top piece. Then you put on this little washer and make sure that the ridge is facing up. Okay. Then you put on the nut. And what you do is you get your hex key and you get your opening wrench and you tighten it up. You tighten it, tighten it up nice and snug. Then you decompress the spring. And like I said before, make sure that you have this fit, fitted correctly down there. All right. So then, after you decompress the spring, you're ready to put it back on. And remember, when you're decompressing, you got to do this one, let's say about five turns, and then this one about five turns. You don't want to undo one and then undo the other. You want to make it even. All right. So. That's how you reassemble it. And this is the front strut from a 93 Honda Del Sol with an aftermarket spring.